Hey everybody, Lonely Trans Girl here just enjoying the view. My favorite lookout points in town. You've been here before. Last time I was up here showing it to you, I felt a lot sadder. I'm actually pretty happy today. Cuz, look who's here. <laughs> I just picked him up just now. I just rode him from the dealership up to my little spot. Just trying him out. Look at how beautiful and clean he is. <laughs> it's not gonna last. But I love it. Feels really good. It's really smooth. It's um, got some great heated grips I got for accessories. I'm still waiting on my hand guards. They were a bit back ordered, but that's okay. There's a lot of other things I still need to do, but um, I really kicked my savings account in the junk, so I'm gonna have to wait a bit, which is fine. I've been waiting for this bike since November, so <laughs> waiting a little bit longer to get the little like odds and ends that I want for it is not a problem and yeah I still do have some adjustments to make I find this really is cool it's got an adjustable brake lever which is awesome because my hands are quite small so I like that um, the clutch lever actually feels pretty good it's nice and light super light it's got a different engagement point than Charlie's so I really only have to pull it in a bit which is nice because then I can keep two fingers on the on the grip all the time I really only need to pull it in that far completely disengage it which is great but yeah super stoked I need to adjust this gear lever it's hard to get my boot under it so it needs to come up a bit just those little like niggles to make it fit me a little bit better but <laughs> I don't know man I turned a corner in third gear and it didn't bog down it just pulled out and accelerated <laughs> stuff like that's amazing like that's where I get the chugga chugga chuggas on Charlie so, <laughs> so he's here <laughs> I'm so excited they did a lot of extra running around to get this bike into my hands apparently Honda Canada had already sent out their whole allotment of these for the year. She phoned around and got one for me from Edmonton. This boy's from Edmonton. And yeah, she had to trade a quad for it. <laughs> she did all that, she got it for me. I'm so stoked. So everybody, all five of my subscribers, yeah, gone up two. But this is Masami. Welcome home, buddy. We are going to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we already are. But I can just tell already. This bike is perfect for what I want to do. Even just coming up here, the really rough, bumpy roads. Not a problem where Charlie wasn't too stoked. The Sami's like, let's do more. So let's do more. Let's take him for a rip. He's heavier to get off the off the kickstand for sure. He's a bigger boy. I really need to uh, adjust the play in this gear in this uh, throttle lever. It's too much free play for me. dump truck's going to have to make a U-turn, so I think I'm going to make one before him so that I don't have to be stuck behind him. Here we go, my first U-turn on Masami. <laughs> no problem. The 
time on the dashboard is wrong. There's a couple of things I got to adjust. I might want to move the windscreen up a bit. I don't feel a lot of like buffeting or anything like that, but the wind noise around my head is quite loud. I think this is a loud helmet anyway. But I might get one of those like little extender things that get on there too. But like I said, I'm not in any rush. I am 99.9% .9 positive this is going to be my forever bike. I can't see myself ever needing anything bigger. And as I get older and weaker, it's still small enough for me to handle, right? So anything smaller, you're, you're struggling on the highway. Anything bigger, you're struggling to pick it up. So. I think I think I hit the sweet spot. I was saying to the sales team, like, even if I won the lottery, this is the bike I would want. So this is a dream come true where I'm going to ride this bike from coast to coast to coast. I'm even gonna venture into the states. The queer friendly states, I have, to <laughs> I have to make sure I'm going to a place that's uh, not going to lynch me. But all that starts in a couple weeks, Masami. You'd be going on a trip already. So I don't have any of my like engine protection. I don't have my hand guards yet. I don't have a luggage tracker system. I do have my dry bag, I have my backpack, and I'm going to have to make do with that for this trip. Maybe my next trip at the end of the summer, I will have some more stuff. I'll be all kitted out. This is my dream machine, and it's in my hands and under my ass right now. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. It feels so good. It's so... Oh my god. It's so nice. It's definitely more top-heavy than Charlie. Which is something to get used to, but I have no problems at intersections. I can still balance it really, really well. I'm gonna... Um, look for a parking lot I can do some practice in just to try it out but I also have to check the time because I know the time is not right and I do have to work today so I don't want to be out here and then all of a sudden it gets dark and I'm like shit I'm supposed to be at work five hours ago <laughs> but since I got you with me and I'm up past the lake road and I'm curious as hell. I am going to take him up the Forest Service Street section here in a sec. Right here. Just to try that out. So I just did an FSR yesterday on Charlie. And I did this exact road when I did my test ride on the 2021 500X. It felt amazing, like it really did. So I'm gonna try my boy Masami on it. It's got some upgraded suspension compared to the 2021. <laughs> it just handles these bumps so well. Like whenever Charlie hit the um, washboards he really hated it he let me know that, that wasn't what he's meant for <laughs> Masami doesn't seem to mind them as much I mean this is literally the kind of riding he was made for so it makes sense but it is a weekday I've got to be careful of logging trucks and what looks like scary government vehicles camping. I feel like a lot of the people camping out here aren't doing it for recreational purposes. 
there's a lot of homelessness in this town. But after all the experience I'm gonna gain tenting, if I ever have to live in one, I guess I'll have a leg up. At least I'll have a bike, so I'll never camp in the same spot twice. Try and catch me, government. Oh, look at this. Like, this was a struggly corner on Charlie. And it's like, it seriously feels like I'm just on a road. I'm loving this. feels so good. Is that really rough section I took Charlie on? I don't think I'm gonna take Masami up there today. Like, it's a brand new, like I just got him. I'm curious though, I wanna try it. But I might wait till I get my skid plate and my crash bars put on, cause like I said, he is a little more top heavy and I could see like once you lose your balance, you're not gonna be able to correct that as easily as I did on Charlie and it could go down. I was watching a review last night and that guy was saying he'd never dropped a bike in his life, but he dropped his 500X twice in rapid succession, just because it is a little top heavier than other bike. Well, look at how tall, like the gas tank is right up here. Right? It makes sense, but it feels, it feels really good when you're rolling and it's not as bad get off the side stand as an Africa Twin or anything like that. I remember just waiting on the service before and sitting on the, and I, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't get it up to take it off the kickstand. It was, it was just too heavy for me. Where's this bad boy? This looks like nothing. This is nothing. This is awesome. Which means like once I get the crash protection on, I'm going to be able to take it even more hardcore places. I watched a video yesterday, a dude going into stuff. I would never expect someone to take a, a 500X into you. It was really gnarly. And he took an Africa Twin there on a test as well. And he said the only, like the differences really is the Africa Twin suspensions never bottomed out and soaked up all the bumps a lot easier so he had to take it slower on the 500 but he also said the 500 went everywhere the Africa Twin did and he actually found it a little bit easier to ride so. just because of the, the weight difference right so I, I, I'm stoked <laughs> I'm just gonna say that a thousand times. I'm stoked. This bike is amazing. Look at that. It just goes through all these little washboards. It doesn't rattle. It doesn't jangle. Oh my god. It feels really easy to stand up on. Like I haven't had to put any like aftermarket bar risers or anything like that on there. I will probably put aftermarket foot pegs on just to get something a little bit um, with a bit wider base that you can take the rubber out. But I think this is, yeah, I think this is where I turned around before on Charlie. I don't think I've gone higher than this because this road was really um, washboardy, right? And Charlie didn't like it. Masami's like, washboards? Okay. Oh, Masami, I love you already. And I signed up for a poker run at the Honda dealer. One of the new sales reps is trying out a little like promotion thing. So um, yeah, I could win some prizes. I just got to come in every month and pick up a card. I'm sure they want me to look at cool things while I'm there and perhaps consider purchasing them too. But 
<laughs> I just made the biggest single purchase of my life for me with no consideration to what anyone else wanted. And it's odd because I'm not built that way. And I've even struggled with my talking to my therapist about that, how I feel, it's selfish. And they said, don't think of it that way, think of it as self-care. I've spent a lot of my life doing for others and not considering myself or putting myself in a position where it's like, you know, I'm important too. I was always the least important person in my own mind. So whatever I wanted was like, if it happened, fantastic. If it didn't, it's expected and it's fine. But like this, this is all for me and it's all for my future and it's all for what I want to do with my life moving forward as a single transgender woman doing her thing. And when I put it in that context, not only was it worth it, like, I fucking deserve it, right? I do. I'm the one who's at work 40 hours a week busting my tail. And I deserve to reward myself for that, right? Like I said, I, I do, I do want to be helpful. I'm still, like, while I'm living at my parents' house, I have an opportunity to help my children get themselves settled. And that's what I plan to do what the majority of the savings I have left, but I said I want to get him fully kitted out for the adventures I want to take. Could probably use some kind of grip tape like I had for Charlie on the tank. So this paint is slippery, yo. Well, what a beautiful color. It's even more stunning in in person than it is on camera or in pictures. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I said that that free play is ridiculous. It's like, <laughs> that's like a seriously a quarter of a twist before anything happens. But I have a brand new owner's manual to read. And I'm such a nerd that I will read it. <laughs> I just will. Uh, <laughs> like these little... I was like... Uh, I'm just escalating already, right? Like... Forest service roads have always been like my jam with Charlie and uh, maybe sometimes take him something a little bit more, but like... I'm looking at stuff like this now and I'm like... Absolutely. Absolutely, I can do that with this bike. No problem. No problem. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> I am gonna get my protection stuff put on before I do that. I know the bike can do it. I'm not entirely confident in my skills. I'll build those up too because um, honestly doing parking lot practice I know it's always important no matter how much skill you think you have 
but um, it was getting a little boring on Charlie because I, I mean, I, I was no Moto Jitsu, but everything that I practiced was really easy. And um, I'm kind of actually looking forward to the challenge of, of learning to do these things on a bit bigger bike. feels really good. I can't remember, like, what I took the other one for a test ride in November last year, October, November. So I don't exactly remember how it felt. Like, with the suspension differences, the upgrade, but th this feels fantastic, so uh, I'm not complaining. It's probably better than the other one, because everybody who rode them back to back on YouTube says it is. can tell you for a fact it feels great. The brakes feel fantastic even on um, this loose gravel like you apply some front brake and you, and you slow down. Quite quickly. So that's all really good. Those are things I got to test more in like a safer environment like a parking lot practice my emergency braking and just see how hard I can hammer these things twin discs baby and I actually even have a year of roadside assistance which is good for a girl that's not super skilled with tools <laughs> a lot of the trips I've taken a basically take a tire repair kit and an air pump. I was like, what else am I going to do? I'm like, I don't know. I'm no MacGyver. You give me the new part and you're like, swap it out. Maybe I could figure that out, but actually like jerry-rig something to get it running to get me home. I don't see that happening anytime in my future. It's like, I'd rather ride it than fix it or wash it so I'm like a factory rider without mechanics or team or manufacturer backing me so <laughs> This road's going to be a good test too because it's bumpy as hell. And all these back roads that I love riding were really bumpy on Charlie. He's a stiff boy. Yeah. And the Sami just soaks these up. Perfect! Janky concrete construction, not an issue. That felt great! I just stood up a little bit on the pegs and went through that little dip of broken concrete and was nothing, no problem. That's cool. You're amazing, Masami. I love you so much already. Look at this. Just tip and go. 
Ah, I love it. Not too big, not too small. You're awesome, buddy. Anyway, I think that's probably good enough for my little introduction to Masami. Thanks for joining, if anyone did. And lots more to come. I'm not technical, I'm not like gearhead that way. I love using, I don't know a whole lot about like the nitty gritty, so. As far as a review goes, yeah, I think you just got it. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to do. Go to your local Honda dealer be like, I want to test drive a CB500X. Lonely Transgill said that they're fucking awesome. He won't be disappointed. Alright everybody. Take care. Wish me a good night at work when you know I'd rather be on this bike. But if I don't go to work, I can't afford the bike, right? So, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, y'all, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.